Grade 8 New Sci Learners. I am your Mahu Science teacher, Julie. Brace yourself for an exciting learning and activities. Here at Episode 5 of Science 8, your learning is on the way. Before we proceed to our discussion for today, let us have first refresh your previous knowledge. For the direction, using jumbled letters, you are going to guess the hidden word in relation to our previous discussion. I know that you are all ready to our lesson for today, which is about Understanding Typhoons from your Learning Activity Sheet in Science, Quarter 2, Week Number 5. After going through this lesson, you are expected to Explain how typhoon develops Analyze a tropical cyclone report and value the importance of thoroughly planning steps that will be taken in times of typhoon. Let us first check your knowledge about typhoons by answering these pre-test questions. Just simply draw the happy face if the statement is correct and the sad face if it is not. You may write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Number 1. The word typhoon comes from Mandarin word typhang, which means strong winds. Number two, typhoon usually originates in the cold region of the ocean. Number three, High pressure area is not necessary for a tropical cyclone to develop. Number 4. Celebes Sea is at the eastern side of the Philippines and covers a large area of PAR. Number 5. Pag-asa stands for Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical, and Astronomical Services Administration. I know that everyone is all set. Let's start! Welcome learners to the departure area of Ninoy Aquino International Airport. Join me to a short Please trip as we discover new things about the Earth's surface. Buckle up your seatbelts and we are now ready for a flight. Are you familiar in this layer of the atmosphere where passenger planes pass by? You are right! This is the troposphere. Did you know that in this layer of the Earth, there is also one weather disturbance that always pass by? It is the typhoon! 
The Philippines is one of the countries in Asia that is usually visited by an average of 20 typhoons every year. Why is this so? It is because the Philippines is surrounded with bodies of water. Luzon Strait in North, West Philippine Sea in Northwest, Sulu Sea in Southwest, Celebes Sea in South, Philippine Sea in Northeast, and Pacific Ocean in East, which is the largest body of water in the world. Tropical Cyclone is a storm system characterized by counterclockwise rotating air mass around the central part called core or eye that has a low pressure. There are two terms used for a tropical cyclone, the typhoon and hurricane. Typhoon is a tropical cyclone occurs in the Northwest Pacific Ocean on the west of the International Dateline. It comes from and appears to be related in pronunciation from the Mandarin word Taifeng which literally means strong winds or Arabic Hindi and Persian god of winds named Tufan. On the other hand, hurricane is a tropical cyclone occurs in the Northeast Pacific Ocean. The North Atlantic Ocean and east of International Dateline or in the South Pacific Ocean is of 160 degrees latitude. It came from the Spanish word huracan that means storm. Strong winds, heavy rains, floods, storm surges, these are just some of the hazards that are brought by tropical cyclones. The formation of tropical cyclones is a natural phenomenon that is used by the Earth to attain balance or equilibrium, transferring energy from the equator to colder parts of the Earth. They are called by various names. In the Northwest Pacific, we call them typhoons. In the Indian Ocean and Southwest Pacific, they are called cyclones. And in the Atlantic, they are called hurricanes. They are often found to form within the Intertropical Convergence Zone, or the ITCZ, where the Northeast and Southeast trade winds meet. Typhoons form just like how ordinary rain clouds form. They start from the evaporation of water molecules from the ocean. Because this moist air is warm, they travel upwards until they meet with cold air. At this point, they start to condense and form clouds, resulting in rain showers. The clouds dissipate and vanish after precipitation is completed. With a very active system, clouds can group together into large clusters of thunderstorms. These clusters of clouds are areas of low pressure in the atmosphere. When combined with warm ocean waters, typically over 26 degrees Celsius, they join two of the key ingredients in transforming ordinary clouds into deadly typhoons. Converging winds also help the movement of warm, moist air from the ocean upwards and contribute to the circulation of the typhoon. With an organized circulation, the low-pressure area becomes a tropical depression. As the tropical depression drifts, it may encounter areas of the ocean where it is exceptionally warm. This will further drive the increase of its circulation, transforming it into a typhoon. And when conditions are ideal, the system starts to rotate even faster, and now on a clear center, the eye of the typhoon. Pag-asa or Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical, and Astronomical Services Administration is the Philippine National Institution dedicated to providing flood and typhoon warnings, public weather forecasts, and advisories, meteorological, astronomical, 
climatological, and other specialized information and services, primarily for the protection of life and property and in support of economic, productivity, and sustainable development. Put together a go bag in case you need to evacuate. Ensure you have enough supplies in case you lose power and water for several days and you are not able to leave due to flooding or blocked roads. Make a family emergency communication plan. Designate a spot where all of you can meet in case of an emergency. Always charge your cell phone so you will have a full battery in case you lose electricity. Turn your refrigerator or freezer to the coldest setting and open only when necessary. If you lose power, food will last longer. Make sure to close storm shutters and stay away from windows. Flying glass from broken windows could injure you. Monitor the media to get the latest weather updates and emergency instructions. Avoid walking or driving through floodwaters that may knock you down or sweep your vehicle away. The water may also be electrically charged or may be hiding dangerous debris. Know your evacuation route. A map can be handy. Make a family emergency plan. Disasters don't plan ahead. You can. I know that you gained new knowledge for today's discussion. To check your understanding about typhoons, let us analyze this tropical cyclone report from Department of Science and Technology about Tropical Cyclone Chideng on March 17 to 19, 2019. These are the guide questions. Let us now answer our guide questions. What is the name of our tropical cyclone? How many days it stayed in the Philippine area of responsibility? Did it landfall? Where did it originally develop? What is the reason why it is weakened? Do you able to write the correct answers? Excellent! Let us check if we have achieved our objectives for today. We can explain how typhoon develops. We also analyze a tropical cyclone report and value the importance of thoroughly planning steps that will be taken in times of typhoon. I know that you are all ready to answer our post-test for today's discussion. For the direction, kindly draw the happy face if the statement is correct and sad face if it is not. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Number one, the word typhoon comes from Mandarin word Taifeng, which means strong winds. Number two, typhoon usually originates in the cold region of the ocean. Number three, high pressure area is not necessary for a tropical cyclone to develop. Number four, 
Lebe Sea is at the eastern side of the Philippines and covers a large area of PAR. Number 5. Pag-asa stands for Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical, and Astronomical Services Administration. To check your understanding about our discussion for today, you may answer the following activities. Remember, you may use the provided answer sheet in Science A. Let us review on page number 2. Let us practice on page 3 to 4. Let us practice more on page 5. And evaluation on page 6. Good job learners! We are now done with our discussion about how do typhoons develop. That's all for the day, grade 8 learners. We are now finally done with our discussion. I hope you are able to infer knowledge about how do typhoons develop. Once again, I am your Mangu Science Teacher, Judy. Join me again to our next episode of Science 8. Your learning is on the way. Bye-bye!